So today, our catch up, we'll be talking about the three ways that OU will be better in 2020 if there's a season. Now, the thing, I mean, there's a lot of ways that OU can be better. I believe uh, 2018, 2017, I mean, there were so many things that we were really good at, but then we took a, took a, took a little step back in 20, 2019. Now, the thing is, you still made the college football playoffs, which is cool. You still won the Big 12, which is, you know, what it is. You have to win that in order to get to the title game or try to get to the title game. So all these people that's out here talking about, hey, man, y'all won the Big 12, water, water. Now, let's start. I don't want to hear that. Hey, you have to win that. Now, did your conference win it? No. So, I don't want to hear it. So, the first thing, your passing game is going to be a lot better, I believe. Now, the only thing is, I mean, you know, you take that with a grain of salt, but watching Spencer Rattler, I do believe that he will be your starter. I mean, he, he reminds me of uh, a little bit of like, you know, Baker Mayfield and Patrick Mahomes uh, kind of mixed in. I mean, he has the, the, the dart, you know, as far as, you know, the ball coming out of his hands, but he has the ability to be elusive. Now, he's not necessarily a runner per se but he can run and I believe in today's football game you have to be able to run if you're going to you know if you're going to do anything at a quarterback spot you can't be a statue I believe that your passing game will be a lot better I think Spencer Rattler will be able to move the ball around a lot more which in intentionally will allow the offense to move at a faster pace you know now there's goods and bads to that you know depending on who you talk to but I believe that your passing game will be a lot better now number two your defense will take some more steps, I believe, forward. This is year number two for Alex Grinch. Now, if you kept up with that defense from 20, what was that, 18? That defense was terrible. It was a horrible, man. It was a horrible, man. So you, you let go of Mike Stoops. You bring in Alex Grinch. And I believe that was a, a step in the right direction. I believe the attitude and the mentality was one of the things that had been lacking for a number of years, and I believe Alex Grinch has uh, changed the mentality. Yeah, he did a phenomenal job from taking your defense from maybe one of the last in the country up to like 24 in the nation, you know, in total defense. You know, that's a huge, huge number because listening to most of the people that were giving their takes on it, they weren't believing that OU would even get in the top, you know, 50. You know, they were saying if they got into the top 50, that would be a really, really good year. A lot of them were kind of saying that they didn't believe that it would take that good of a jump. You lost uh, Kenneth Murray, Neville Gallimore, uh, you know, a couple of other defensive starters. So, I mean, that's going to be a major thing, but I believe that you will bounce back because you did go out and recruit some defensive linemen uh, that are major pieces that you that you wanted to get. Uh, you also shored up some pieces in your secondary, um, recruiting some longer, rangier dudes, so people won't be able to just go up and just throw the ball up on top of your cornerbacks. But, I mean, some of the key pieces that you do have coming back this year, Ronnie Perkins, uh, Jalen Redman, uh, Trey Brown, Trey Norwood will be coming back from an injury. Um, so there's a lot of good things that you have going on uh, with that defense. And then number three, your offensive line has some continuity going about itself. Now, it has to, you know, take some steps forward. In uh, 2018, they won the Joe Moore Award, which is the award for the top line. In the nation, I mean, they only gave up like 18 sacks. Seeming is how you lost four offensive starters to the NFL, you know, the year before. So you actually, you know, came in, you put in some new pieces on that line or whatever and, and was still able to make it happen, but you gave up 23 sacks. So the thing is you cannot give up, you know, 23 sacks. You have to have a little bit more, uh, you know, you know, some solid pieces in there that know their job, know what they're doing. And I believe with a year of experience, these guys will get better. Um, you are moving some pieces around and just listening to some of the interviews. Um, some of that, you know, is kind of up in the air. You know, some of the coaches have not been talking uh, so you know, confidently about the, the offensive line, but I believe that these guys will figure it out. Um, so, yeah, that, those are the things I believe, the three things that uh, OU will be getting better at as time goes on. I mean, those are three, three things to look out for. And so that's what I'm looking at uh, to see if our offensive line gets better, the defense will get better, and I think that your passing game will be uh, light years ahead of what it was in 2019. So that's my take. I'm Derek Anderson. Peace.